the key to great sales, to making and closing more sales. A lot of companies are interested in growing top line revenue. Sales cures all, as they say in the industry, but how do you grow top line revenue? You got to have sales. You got to close sales. You got to make sales. So what is the key to that? What is the number one thing you need to be able to close more sales? It's passion and belief in the product you're selling. You can't sell anything if you don't believe in it. So you have to believe in the product. You have to believe in the company. You have to believe in what you're doing as a salesperson and that your product or your company is the right fit for your client, your customer, uh, your vendor, whoever it is you're selling to. And you have to have great marketing as well, right? So the difference, there's a difference between marketing and sales. We'll go into that in another video. Let's just focus on sales right now because sales cures all, right? Volume hides a lot of mistakes. So you got to be able to bring in the sales and you got to be able to close them. And like I said, the number one thing is you got to believe in what you're doing. You have to believe in your company, believe in your product, and you have to believe in yourself in order to close more sales. And when you when you have true belief in your product that it's it's the right fit for your customer, it's going to serve them, it's going to create value, it's going to enhance their lives, it's going to be something that they're going to benefit from, then it's easy to sell. It's easy to close. So explaining the features and benefits of your product when you have passion about it, when you believe in it, that's the easy part, right? It's easy to get excited about a product or a company. It's easy to have passion or believe in it. The question is, do you believe in yourself and your product and your company enough to then ask for the sale? So that's the final thing that you're going to need to be able to close more sales. You have to actually ask for it. So once the client has reached out, once you've gone through the process, then you, you have to get to the end and you got to close that sale. And you got to ask for the order, right? So how do you do that? How do you close a sale? How do you ask for an order? It's as simple as that. You've seen everything that you need to see. All your questions have been answered. Are you ready to order now? Are you ready to sign up? Are you ready to enroll? When Can I go ahead and, and get your order out to you? Sign here, here, and here. Whatever it is that you need done at the end of that presentation, do you have any more questions? Is there anything else I can explain to you? It seems like everything makes sense and this is the right fit for you. Yes, it is, or no, it's not. So if it's not, then you you ask, you know, what did I leave out? What questions did I not answer? So they'll go through that. So when it's all said and done, so this sounds like it's the right fit for you. It's the perfect product, perfect car, perfect service, whatever it is. I need your signature here. Uh, can we go ahead and get that out to you today? I need your credit card so we can go ahead and process the order. Are you ready to take the next step? Are you ready to enroll, sign up? Whatever it is, just ask. You've already given them the information. They've asked you for the information. So you need to you need to just go ahead and close that down at the end by asking for the order. And then there's a whole nother set of things that could arise based on how good of a job you did in the presentation and how much they understand the product and how the product is gonna be a benefit to them, that's gonna create value for them, that's going to be the best fit for them. So believe in yourself, believe in your product, believe in your company. And when you've done the process, when you've made your presentation, ask for the sale at the end. It's that simple. I need you to sign here. Can we ship that to you today? Do you have your credit card ready to process the order? Are you ready to sign up? Can we go ahead and get you signed up? I need you to sign here, here, and here. And then if they object, well, that's a whole nother conversation because it's not really an objection. It's a statement. It's a belief. It's a complaint. All you need to do is hear that, understand, and then keep moving forward in the process. So there are no tricks. There are no secrets. There are no gimmicks. It's belief. It's having passion, it's understanding, and then asking for the order.